Hey guys, how you doing? Today is Tuesday, January 29th, and I am in my clean and organized craft room. Look, let me show you. Oh, last time I did this was a Christmas tree in the middle of the room. Everything is tidy, organized, cleaned up. I'm so thrilled. It took me six days. Look, there's nothing even back here on the floor. That's a little space heater. It's cold in here. We don't have heat in this main living area. There's no heat and we don't have air. So it gets stupid cold in the winter, stupid hot in the summer. Um, we just have heat and air conditioning in the bedrooms. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Hence the blue velour. My kids hate this thing. But anyway, I'm cozy and I'm working today. I'm working on my youngest daughter's bedroom. That's a little music stand that came out of her room. So I'm working on that right now. But I have to insert the video in my craft room. It's finally done. I'm so happy with this room. At night, I put the lamps on. It's so nice and calm in here. It just feels clean and organized. It feels so good. So I did video over the six days um, of the process to get it from what it was to now. Um, I edit some of it a little weird because the videos were going really long. I think I missed day two completely. But anyway, um, I just had to cut it down. And then at the end, I do a quick video of everything I have on the shelves on the computer desk the kids area and my craft area. Um, I had to use their little cameras. They have little Samsung SL202 cameras. Uh, great cameras, but the video, because of the memory card, I think I can only do like 20 minutes of video. My video camera is finally dead. Uh, the screen is broken. It won't, um, it won't display anything. And it's on, the, it's not dead, but the screen is. And we got a little quote to fix the little ribbon wire thing, whatever that is inside there. And the quote was $300. <laughs> um, you can buy a new camera for that. So, uh, yeah, so I need to get a new camera. But anyway, so the video, I had to work quick, so I'm talking really fast. If you want more details about um, what I have on the shelves, I can always go back and do a little detailed video. Or you can check out my other um, craft channel, Red Cardinal Crafts. I'm sure I covered it at some point, what supplies and stuff I have but feel free to leave comments or questions and I can always answer them so check out uh, the video of my craft room okay time to clean the craft room this is gonna be a big job but I can do it it's good I'm motivated I'm I got my sneakers on I'm ready to go all right this room is actually a dining room you can see the chandelier is snugged up against the ceiling there this is where I do my videos from this computer desk my kids craft things are over there and then my craft things are over here in the fall, I rearranged this room because I had bought um, that long shelving unit and I bought another one that's going over behind my chair there. So I rearranged the room and to go from the way the room had been to the way it is now was a huge job. And I just, my focus that day was just to get everything back on shelves and get the room kind of set up. So it never, the shelves never really got set up the way I wanted um, them to be. So what I'm going to do today is move my desk out of the way and then start taking everything off these shelves, wipe it down really good, give it a good clean, and I'm going to put like with like. I'm going to grab all my glues and my tapes and all that kind of stuff and put those together. And then I've got sketchbooks up, up top, I've got sketchbooks down the bottom, I have to put all those together. And then I can really see what I actually own and then try to gather it a little bit better on the shelves. I can't see me getting rid of too many things and I know that sounds crazy um, but here on the island you cannot get a lot of craft supplies. We have one little scrapbook store that is a couple little um, items really expensive compared to home so um, I can't see me getting rid of stuff because then if I need something again, it's not like I can run back out to the store to get it if I needed it. And the kids stuff, I have to go through all their things. I'm going to do theirs separate from mine, um, just one giant mess at a time. Then this computer desk has to be uh, organized better. I never did get this back together properly when I rearranged the room. And I have some new magazine files that I bought at Christmas along with those... Um, you know, my message center with the whiteboard calendar things. I had bought um, some red magazine files. They were half price. I got them for like two something. This stuff here on the floor came out of the desk that was in the kitchen. So that needs to find a home on here. And then these big baskets, that's what was left in the kitchen. This is 
What has happened to this room? Oh my god. Uh, most of the stuff is off the shelves now. There are some some things still up there. I have my Cricut cartridges and a couple um, bins over there with some paper in it. But this is how, this is actually organized, believe it or not. These are my cutting tools. I've got some paint. I've got my beads, um, punches, stamps, markers, you know. So it is somewhat organized. It's in kind of piles. Okay, day three. Um, that's pretty much done for my area over here. I have a couple toys that need to be added to the toy collection over there. That's a project my daughter's working on. A few little fiddly things right there. Now, <laughs> I still have all this on the floor. It's been just kind of squished and thrown together for now. But I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to work on this area. And I think what I'm going to do is tip this um, cabinet and this shelf and stand it upright. But back in the corner, I have a couple easels and things. There's one that I just pulled out right now. And I'm just going to get them out of there so that stuff can slide over more. So I'm just going to... Oh, i got to move the bird. Um, I'm just going to do that at this point, and um, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, still some things on my desk, but that's no big deal. Um, and then I cleaned the windows, I washed the curtains, I took them down, I threw them in the machine on gentle, and then I washed down the curtain rods. Unbelievable how dusty those can get. I turned the cabinet, the shelf, let me just back up here. I turned that shelf and I think that makes a huge difference. The, the windows are now completely um, open, they're not blocked. I think it just gives an airier feel to it. I put the bird up there. Um, I think birds like being up high anyway. And I didn't go through any of those bins yet. It was just a matter of just trying to get um, the curtains done, the windows done, and then uh, just to tip that shelf. And then the play table, we used to have a big round one in front of the window. I just grabbed their other play table that they have, the little rectangle one, put it right here. Okay, so my craft room is done, and now I'm going to show you all the different parts um, of the room. Okay, so over here is my computer desk. That's where I do um, my videos from. Over there is the kids' craft area, and I'm going to start with this area, which is my craft area. Um, the furniture is all by Ikea. I will go into that in uh, a little more detail at the end. Um, so all of it's Ikea with the exception of my desk chair. I've had that for years. My mom worked for a stationary company, so I got it um, from her. And here we go. So my desk is actually a light table desk. It has this glass um, insert. So I have a lamp up above and then underneath I have another lamp attached and I could use it as a light table. This purple bag here is um, it's actually all my Disney scrapbook stuff. And if you want to see that in more detail, um, it's on my other channel, which is Red Cardinal Crafts. Uh, I'm not sure which video number it is, but it's all my Disney scrapbook stuff and how I store it. This is this bin here is just um, miscellaneous art things that just mementos and things that I just want to keep. Um, the first draft of um, the children's book I did, a little guest book that I had. Excuse me, my watch is going off. Um, guest book I had at a gallery um, one time and everyone had signed the guest book so that was pretty cool. So just little things like that that I want to keep. So here is my storage area for all my craft supplies. I have it on the two different shelves. The one over there and this one here. So I'm just going to start from the first cubby and go by. Up there is all my old toys and I just kind of put them on display. Um, I just thought it was better than having them just shoved in a bin where no one could see them. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so this right here is a sketch um, on the go bag. Like if I want to go sit out on a patio chair or something, I have um, a pencil case in there. I have some different sketch pencils. My colored pencils should be in there, but my daughter's been using them for a project, so they just haven't made their way back in the bag yet. Um, that's a little sketch set. I have a travel watercolor set. So it's all just different things like that. So I can just go outside, sit on the lawn chair and draw. That thing back in there is actually a wall sconce. There's two on this wall, but it, because the shelf is covering it, um, that's how it ends up looking. 
Then in here is all my sketchbooks and sketch paper. I have a few of the Moleskine ones. Um, they're very nice. I bought one last summer and one when I was away at Christmas. Um, I just try to get them whenever I go off island. And so that's all sketch things. And then in here, this is anything to do with the book that I did. I did a children's book called um, Squirrel's Peanut Allergy. I have a copy of it right here. So that was my first children's book that I've done. It just went into print last year. Um, and uh, I'm working on another book. So it'll make its way into this section. This is my portfolio with all the pictures for that children's book. So that's all my book stuff in there. Over here, I have, these are photos that I need to put into a scrapbook. It's my New York scrapbook that I did for my family for Christmas. And I just have to um, finish doing mine by putting the photos in. So the photos are just kind of floating around at this point, but they have to be dealt with soon. So I'm just leaving them out. Up here is, in these bags, they're my um, Copic markers. They are beautiful markers and I have quite a few of them. So I just keep them up in here in these bags. I got these from the hardware store actually. Again, if you want to see more detail about what those are like, you can check out my other channel. And then these are um, sketchbooks that I use with those markers. Over here, it's all my cutting um, and punching kind of tools. Um, like my trimmers, my uh, scrapbook trimmers. I have my crop it all. This is my bind it all. And it's all just cutting things. And then my cutting mats are back in here too. So anything that you would use to kind of cut or sort of make holes into, um, I guess you'd say. Then down here is just all different journals. Some of them are blank. Some of them I have written in. Some of them are scrapbook. Um, like ideas and stuff that I write down. This here uh, just holds all my scrapbook ideas that I've got from various scrapbook magazines. And instead of holding onto the magazines, um, I just fill them into this little journal and I cut out all the ones that I like. And I have several, as you can see, magazines in that one little book. And then I don't have to keep all the magazines somewhere. Over here is just all my, um, colored paper. Uh, I separate it by color and I do pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown and beige, and black and white. And then I have a little section of special paper. Now those are certain papers that I bought like on their own or I found them in a paper pack that something special, like this one is um, Grinch paper. Well, I want to put that specifically in my Christmas album. I have another one in here that has um, hamster stuff. Well, I want to do a page about the hamster. So certain things, certain papers that I found that I know I'm going to going to use for something specific. I just keep in that folder. These here are little paper packs that I have. This stuff here is just eight and a half by, or eight by eight paper, six by six and four by six papers. So I keep those separate there. These three shelves are cartridges for my Cricut machine. That's a die cut machine. Um, so these are all the cartridges that go with that. So I have those all sorted. Down here is just little embellishments that I use. Um, it could be stickers, it could be um, little frames, stuff like that. And what I keep them in are these Hillshire Farm um, containers that cold meat comes in. And as you can see, we eat a lot of cold meat. And on these shelves, I can fit 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can fit 30 of these little containers and they fit perfectly. You can't, however, turn them this way. They won't, will they? Oh yeah, they'll fit, but they won't fit as deep. So you can get 30 if you put them this way. Then over here, this is anything to do with um, letters, just, uh, just different letter sets. Um, in this one, it's all chipboard, which is like kind of cardboard letters. And then um, larger chipboard, I just keep in these envelopes here. And then this is a little thing with embellishments in it. This is nice by Close to My Heart. I bought this at a conference one time, or um, what's it called? Not a conference. Oh, I'll come up with the word. Anyway, they're all little embellishments, little brads and things. And I love that they're all in here in little jars, all organized. 
And I wish I had bought another one. A convention? Scrapple convention. Yeah? Anyway. Um, okay, and then this is all my Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz is a particular artist with scrapbook stuff. He has this brand here, um, Ideology, and he has certain papers, certain um, embellishments, and this isn't one of his products, but it is like a little um, memory box that I will use some of his products. All the loose stuff that I keep, um, little embellishments, stuff that's like Tim Holtz, I just keep that all in that one um, container. And then in these two cubbies, I have my big paper packs. Now this is all um, Christmas paper. This one here is all things to do with kids. Um, whether it's school paper, some of the stuff, it's some paper that I would use for uh, Disney scrapbooks. Then here is like florals and just patterned paper, I guess you would call it. And then in here is all my cardstock, which is just all my solid colored um, paper. So, and what happens is sometimes I will rip some papers out of those paper packs, and then that's why it ends up in these envelopes here. They've just been separated. Um, but this is all pattern paper. Then down under here is just mementos, like it's stuff from our Disney flyers and buttons and cards, things from Canada, some photos and things from Florida. I have the kids school pictures over here and a couple of the ones from the Disney castle. And then this is my New York scrapbook stuff that I have to do. I just kept it there. And then these are all the mats that go with my Cricut machine. These envelopes here are more memory things. This is like, I'll have a pouch with stuff for school and stuff for the kids activities. And I have some wedding things like our honeymoon stuff that I never did put in the scrapbook yet. Um, just if we, you know, we did a Disney cruise the other year. So all the stuff from the cruise, um, like what you can do is take one of these pouches, throw it in your suitcase, and when you're traveling, as you go throughout your days, and if you collect flyers and stuff while you're on your trip, you just come back to your suitcase, throw it in the pouch, and you have it all, and you're good to go. And when you come home, you have all that stuff sorted um, already, and you're, when you go to scrapbook, you have it all in one place. Over here, this is all my stamp stuff. So it's just all my rubber stamps, and then my um, clear stamps, some ink, Although my letters, I keep like this, and they're all done, whoops, <laughs> alphabetically. So I have A, B, C in there, D, E, F, and so on. So it goes like that. Now I do have one font that was really strange, and once I opened the package and separated it all, I got very confused. Some of the letters were a little odd, so I went back to the store. It was the Disney, it was like a Disney princess set of letters. And like this was the letter C, it's hard to see, but um, it's a letter C and it was a big swirl and I didn't think that that was a letter C. So I went back, took a picture of the, of the package at the store and then put it in there with it so I could remember. And then just a set of markers. I have some paints and then this is more ink, pa um, ink pads. And then these are my um, Faber-Castell markers. Then here we have I have some beads and I have beads and wire here. Down here are punches. Now I would have put that up in that top shelf with the cutting stuff, but the basket just wouldn't fit. I have some wipes, which really should be over here with the stamps because that's when I use the wipes. Um, but, oh well, it's right next to it. That's as close as I could get it. And then this is stuff that goes with my Cricut machine. There's the little um, Cricut set and these are the instructions and the blades and all the extra little doodads that come with the machine. Then over here, it's all stuff for cards. Um, I have just guides um, to things that you could say inside of a card. I have envelopes back there for when I do envelope minis. These are cards that I was working on at Christmas and I just didn't get finished, so I'm going to continue those for next Christmas. This is my scoreboard, which I use for making cards and for envelopes. And then in here is just all different random cards and envelopes that I've made. Um, some of them are store-bought cards that I just keep in there. And then under here are my embossing tools. And that's for, I usually use embossing tools when I'm making cards. Again, if you want any more details on this stuff, just please put a comment below and I can go into more detail. 
Um, or you can check out my other channel, Red Cardinal Crafts, and I'm sure I've talked about these things on there. Um, this bucket here is uh, just all photographs that don't have a proper home yet. And then under here are just little mini albums and things. Um, there's a Halloween album that I made at one point, which should really be on display. There's a, a Mickey one that my friend made me. I really need to have that on display. And these ones are just empty ones I haven't done anything with yet. Over here is all my glues and adhesives. The two machine looking things there are Xyron machines and they're big um, laminating and gluing machines. And you just put your paper in through and you wind the handle and then it'll put some adhesive on the back of whatever you're doing. And then this one is just an even larger version of that. And then I have a little glue gun, my, bo oops, my bottles of glue and tape, and then a whole container of different kinds of glues and tapes. Over here, we're starting to get into some randomness here. This is vinyl that goes with my Cricut machine, um, a tracer machine. These are just uh, the kids' portfolios with different um, things that they've drawn. And I just have some tracing paper in there. This is all, it's mostly Disney books, um, and I have my big Harry Potter books there too, but a lot of these are just for reference. Um, there's books on illustrating children's books. There's, uh, my next children's book I'm doing is going to be a lot of black and white with a bit of color put in it. So I picked up um, Olivia and I picked up Make Way for Ducklings just to give some ideas of how other people had done it and just to kind of get my creativity flowing. And then this over here, those are just two little memory boxes and the rest are just some of my old books, my old Nancy Drew, my old Judy Bloom, and some old children's books that I had. So that was this whole big shelf. Now we're gonna move on to this one over here. I'm just crawling along on the floor. Um, okay, so this whole area, um, up there is that chicken wire, is like a chicken wire rack that I made and I have all my sticker embellishments on it and I separated it and tidied it up so this is all letters on this side and this is all different um, occasions over here and I tried to sort it by this is sort of summer stuff and this is kind of frames and things that say stuff about friendship and then I have Christmas stuff at the end so that's kind of how I um, divided it up then this little stand, it's like a plant stand or something, um, I just hang all my ribbons from all the way around. I try to do it in um, color order. Then in here I have all my little stickles. They're like glue, um, glitter glue. I have another pack of ribbons that I still have to open and put on there. And some other string. This I just didn't know where to put. It's like a little felt thing. And then up top here I have my inks. Over here, I have these knitting loom things. Not totally sure what you call them. I have some rulers. I have my embroidery hoops, uh, my nonstick craft sheets. So when I'm doing something messy on my desk, I use that. Um, a couple more sticker embellishments that just didn't fit. Then I have my tripods. And then this whole area is mostly about yarn crafts and fabric and stuff. So in this first cubby, I'm not sure if I'm going to run out of space on this um, camera. Anyway, I'll just keep talking until it runs out. Okay, so these are some uh, books about needlework and yarn and stuff. This is all my floss. This is how I keep my embroidery floss and my needlepoint yarn. I have, um, this is a little embroidery thing that I've been working on, so I just keep it like that. A little knit book. These are, you know when you go into a yarn store like Walmart and they have all the little free samples hanging from the thing? Well, I just bought one of these smaller binders and I put it all in there and all the little small books. And I just have page protectors to keep them in there. Then, um, this next shelf down, this is just my sewing box. These are the lids that go with those fabric boxes that my paper's in, so I just wanted to keep those aside. That's the power bar running everything. Then here is my cross stitch patterns. I just, again, have those in um, page protectors. I just have those all in my binder like that. And then 
oh, sorry, hard to do with one hand. And then in here are all little cross stitch and needlepoint projects that I have bought. Um, I mostly get them at a secondhand store, but they're just little patterns and stuff that I have yet to work on. So I just contain them in there. Down here, I just have a bucket of fabric. This is stuff that goes with my punch embroidery, which is this. This is a golf flag because um, I got a hole in one the other year and uh, um, I'm gonna do a memory box with the flag and everything. Those back there are handles for purses that I'm either going to make out of fabric or knit. So those are the handles for that. In here is all my crochet stuff. So I have crochet patterns, again, in the sheet protectors, some books, and this is all just crochet thread and tatting thread. Down here is all my paints and my different paint palettes. Um, down here is my sewing machine, my mini sewing machine. And then I have, a, I have up here, I have a bag that I need to sew, I need to fix it. And then these are just a couple paint palettes that again, it just wouldn't fit over here. And then up here is my yarn. I have a giant case with all my needles in it. I have my longer needles in this one, and then another binder with my knitting patterns. And then up on top, I have, this is my Cricut machine. My friends and I, we name our machines. This is, uh, I called mine Lorraine after my mom. And then these are my label makers, my gypsy that goes with so many technical difficulties today. Okay, there's Sprite. She's the one that's always chirping when I'm making my videos. So she lives up here. She's looking around like, what, me? I didn't do anything. So she lives up here now. And then those are a couple things I made. And then all this tower is scrapbooks that I have completed um, or I am working on or I haven't even touched yet. This stuff here, this is all the kids craft stuff. I need to get um, a cartridge for my label maker and I'm gonna label the bins for them. And then we have the little Ikea table with um, their little pen caddy and another lamp. Now up in here obviously is all their yarn. And then in here, this is all little craft kits that um, they either haven't used yet, or it's um, um, like styrofoam balls. This is, what is this, origami papers, stuff like that. So just all little craft kits. Then in here, it's mostly school supplies. There's extra paper, I have scissors, I have extra boxes of markers and um, pencils, colored pencils. This is just a bin of markers. And then down here we have a, a lot of Disney golf pencils. We used to golf at Disney all the time when we lived there. So um, we have a lot of that. And then glue. So that's all school supplies. And then, and I tried to put some lighter things up near the top in case they try to get this down. This is Play-Doh. Uh, Play so it's a Play-Doh mat and all the accessories. I just have them in a Ziploc bag and all the diff different kinds of Play-Doh. I go through it every once in a while and just get rid of the ones that are all dried up and gross. Then down in here, this is all, um, uh, what is this? Oh, just little journals and stuff. And then I put their paper maker thing there and their easel. And then, look at this, this was my daughter's cell phone. She took a rock and painted it. She's hinting that she wants a phone. Um, and then this is all just little tubes of paint that are in there. And then in this one, this is all beads and it's mostly beads and then pom-poms, um, some popsicle sticks, and then this little bracelet maker. So that's in there. And then down here is all sketchbooks and uh, little fashion books and stuff like that. And then in the last one, this is scrapbook stuff. So this Cricut machine goes with the paper machine. She actually has hers. It's called Elmo. Hers is down under the table for now. And so this is all her scrapbook stuff and stamps or their scrapbook stuff and their little table. That's the mammoth table. And then over here is my desk. And this is where I do videos. So up here is Elmo. That's our hamster. He's asleep right now. And so he lives there. He was making too much noise in my daughter's room. So now he, ow, oh, I just hurt my ankle. Um, this paper files, paper files, and then these are all photos. So it's all photos and CDs. In this one, I have some scrapbook magazines, which I need to sit down some night when I'm watching TV, go through them and add them to that little green book I had with all the scrapbook stuff. But the ones I haven't cut up yet, I just have in there. This is all um, Playmobil catalogs. 
uh, Playmobil toys. If you don't know Playmobil, where have you been? Um, I love Playmobil. I have a slight addiction to Playmobil. I blame my sister. She got me started on it years ago. Then in here, this is all just different scribblers. Um, if you're Canadian, you'll recognize these, the little Canada Hillroy books, but they had them on sale last summer with the school supplies for 25 cents. So I grabbed those because you just never know when you need a little book for jotting things down. And then down in this bottom one, I have, this is school stuff. It's their yearbook from last year. It's the newsletter. It's the phone guide for all the students in case you need to get in touch with somebody. And then in here, I just have some writing paper, some envelopes, because they're always, if they need a note, um, if they're sending in money with school, they have envelopes. These are just a couple extra paper pads that I keep here by the computer. And then these are a couple gift cards that I just checked the amount on the other day. Um, and then this is my calendar, my little project book for my little pink cottage. This I have to... Um, do it's i'm going to it's one of these where you keep everything separate and i'm going to label it and keep um track of my spending like for gas and stuff like that so then the rest uh, i'll deal with that later the rest this is just little scraps of paper that i need to file away in my calendar just important notes and stuff another thing i've been keeping are receipts from groceries because i want i want to get together um uh like a spending chart not a spending but a price list i guess is what i'm trying to say for groceries um because i'm going to be trying to do some meal planning that's just my water bottle i was just having some water earlier and like i said those are photos and videos it's just all on cd CDs. Okay, let's go under the desk. All right, under here is a whole stack of books that I have yet to read, that I plan to read. Um, some of them, like Simple Abundance, is just a daily thing. This one up here is a book that I have to return to a friend, and then I have my Kindle under there. Over there, it's another group of books, my Harry Potter books. Some of them were just coffee table books. They're mostly ones that I have read and I just don't want to get rid of. Down here, this is my old recorder when I was a kid. And then I have my Ikea catalog collection. I like collections. Um, these are all the Ikea catalogs dating back to 2003. Sad, I know, I don't know why, but I just keep them. And then, because sometimes it's just good for getting ideas of how to set up rooms. And because I have so much Ikea furniture, why not? Then these ones are mostly music books. Um, we have violins, we have a keyboard, and we have a guitar. So, and we don't know how to play any of them. But we have the music books for them. Uh, and then this is just a little box with um, clarinet. I used to play clarinet when I was a kid. Um, and then tuners and stuff. So that's all just kind of music stuff. My tuner for the violin. I'm trying to learn how to play. My daughter, my youngest one's taking it in school. And then under here, oh, sorry, I'm blocking the light. Anyway, it's just reference books for school. Um, there's some Disney encyclopedias that are adorable and I just don't have the heart to get rid of. And just a couple of reference books for the kids and a dictionary. Then our printer that doesn't have ink, which I need to get ink in it. Back there is our shredder. And then this is a magazine rack of uh, from, uh, you guessed it, Ikea. And this just has all our camera bags and camera chargers. And that just stays under there. And then up on top, just my camera and my camera that's dead. And just a little pencil caddy, electric pencil sharpener, stapler, calculator, and an Ikea catalog. Because I just want to show you, this is my art desk. Now it's called the Vicka Bleckett. Why is this blurry? Anyway, I'll spell it B-L-E-C-K-E-T. Um, Vika, Vika, V-I-K-A. Anyway, this catalog was from 2008. Um, I don't know if they carry it anymore. I've tried to look at it online and uh, I don't see it. Now, what I did bring up was the Ikea furniture. This is my desk configuration right here. Um, now it's saying that this is the Expedit workstation in white, um, but I, I don't know if it's both pieces or not. But anyway, this shelf, this is the one that I had laying over there on its side with my um, yarn and everything on it. 
all my needle crafts. And then this is, it's the same one that I had the kids stuff in and it's the same one that my computer desk is um, on right now. So there's that one. So that's $119.99. These are US prices. There's the tower that I have all my scrapbooks on. Those are $59. This is my big one. And you can get any of these you can get in the white, the black brown color, or the birch, which is the lighter wood. So that's my big large one. And that was $199. Um, and like I said, my desk, I don't know. Now, if I go into children's IKEA, um, Let's see if I can find children's tableware. Oh no, that's dishes. <laughs> Hang on. Furniture. These little stools, these are the Mammut, M-A-M-M-U-T. The stools are $7.99. I have those, plus we have the chairs. These are the chairs that you see um, right there. And those are $14.99. And then these are the tables, and they're $34.99. And you can get a big round table. Well, maybe you can't get the round tables anymore. I don't see the round tables. Anyway, they used to have round ones. So anyway, just uh, check out Ikea. Now, my tip for Ikea, I pretty much got all of these things in the as is section. In Ikea, there's a there's an area near the end where you go to check out and it's called as is. And some of the stuff is damaged. Some of the stuff they're just not selling anymore. So you can get those things really cheap. The Expedit there you saw online, it was 200. I actually got mine for 100. My desk, my tabletop that was a gift from my friends on one birthday we found it in the as is section and it was 25 dollars. it's normally 179 i think the legs i did not get those on sale um those were sold separately and i want to say 25 dollars each each not totally sure um these two expedits i had to buy here on the island but i got them for 50 dollars each which is a pretty good deal here on the island and one, so I have three, so I bought two of them on the island for cheap. I bought this tower from somebody here on the island. Um, how much? Did I, I think I got that for 30. Uh, tables and chairs, I actually paid full price at the store. And then these desk chairs here are $25. This desk attachment is normally 50 and I got it for 25 in the as is department. And this other expedit that I had originally owned before we moved here, I got in as is, I believe they're normally 59 or something. I think they were 79 at the time, but I got it for $30. So there's a little tip. And that is the end of my craft room tour. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, good luck with your craft rooms if you have one. Like I said, this is a dining room. I just converted it into a craft room um, because I do more crafts than fancy dinners. So <laughs> there you go. Oh my God, that was a long video. <laughs> if you're still awake, thanks for staying with me and <laughs> watching that. Oh my God. I just went through it just to see if it was okay. I'm slightly car sick and... <laughs> <laughs> bored out of my mind. Anyway, that was my craft room. So if you were watching it and entertained, um, bless you. <laughs> I bored myself. Anyway, okay, so that was my craft room. I hope you liked it. I have got to get moving. I gotta go work on my daughter's room. And um, yeah, so I'll have a video of that coming up. Uh, I'm trying to do quicker little video clips when I do these videos. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.